Welcome to How You Live It, a transformative podcast featuring best selling author, inspirational speaker, and minister, Dr. Rick Rigsby. And now, Dr. Rick. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for listening. Let's continue a discussion about common sense and why possessing this rare commodity can make a huge difference in our lives. It's safe to say that ours is a very superficial culture. Entertainment is king. Style wins out over substance. And impression wins over impact. It's more profitable in our culture to look good rather than to be good. Such a society places on the proverbial chopping block any notion of common sense, something that's not so common these days. However, we can develop our capacity for common sense. My dad is the perfect personification of such growth. Born in 1920 in rural Texas, he worked on the family farm to help out. That meant school, formalized education, was over by grade three. However, my dad taught himself how to read. He taught himself how to write. He took advantage of every opportunity to better himself. He challenged himself, challenged himself to learn new experiences, to try new ways, to meet different sorts of people. Even in Jim Crow America, my father demanded from himself that he would respect others and treat them with kindness. My dad eventually migrated to San Francisco in search for greater opportunities. He landed a job as a line cook at California Maritime Academy, a university that prepares men and women for careers in the maritime industry, from tugboat pilots to ocean liner captains. In order for these cadets to graduate, they must participate in a mandatory cruise. When my dad was working, the cruises were January through March every year as the training ship Golden Bear sailed the world. Following a career that lasted nearly three decades, my dad was a citizen of the world. He knew portions of several foreign languages. He had an intuitive understanding of global political systems. And talking to him about maritime geography, let's just say if it were a category on Jeopardy, dad would have nailed it. Many childhood dinner conversations would begin this way. Ricky, tell me everything you can about the Galapagos Islands. And I'd respond, Dad, uh, I can tell you about Gilligan's Island, <laughs> but I don't know a whole lot about the Galapagos Islands. With each experience, my dad learned, and that learning became the catalyst for his journey. Let me explain. My father's life experience has formed the foundation for his common sense behavior patterns. From those patterns, I see three critical elements that made up his common sense. Number one, intelligence. Number two, wisdom. And third, discernment. All of these are learned behaviors. Each can be developed at any stage in life. Now, in a previous episode, we discussed intelligence. Just as a recap, intelligence takes knowledge to another level. While knowledge is gleaned by knowing something, intelligence is the application of that knowledge. It's applying what you know. Allow me to use my father as an example. As I mentioned, he was a cook at the academy in Northern California. California Maritime Academy is just one of several academies scattered throughout the United States. My father learned a skill. He learned how to cook. In addition, he was on that training ship three months out of every year for nearly 30 years. So he learned maritime traditions, world geography, marine biology. He met various people groups and learned about their customs and traditions. The knowledge learned from my dad's experience offered him a world-class education. However, it was just knowledge until applied. My dad took this knowledge and applied it in a very meaningful way. One important way served as normative behavior, behavior that he required for his children. I can hear my father's voice with a piercing familiarity. I can hear my father saying, son, you'd rather be an hour early than a minute late. Son, how you do anything is how you do everything. Son, it's never wrong to do the right thing. You'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. He simply and unwittingly took his knowledge and experiences and impacted his family, his church, his neighborhood, his community, and now the world. 
as the book about him, Lessons from a Third Grade Dropout, has become a bestseller. Intelligence, the application of that which we know. My dad combined intelligence with wisdom. That's the second critical element of common sense, wisdom. Simply defined, I believe that wisdom is the ability to use intelligence to make good decisions. Wisdom keeps us centered, helps us keep perspective, while teaching us the difference between right and wrong. We make better choices. We make better decisions. Decisions that reflect and reveal our values. The third foundational brick of common sense is the key to living a meaningful and productive life. And that brick is discernment. Discernment is the ability to judge well. I love the Webster's Dictionary definition of discernment. The quality of being able to grasp and comprehend what is obscure. Discernment is the act of perceiving something. And I argue that it's one of the most important elements we can develop in our lives. Think about all the messages that we take in every day, all the conversations we have, all the contact that we have with other people, and how most of those messages compel us to do something, to act. The ability to discern is critical to any success that we may want in life. It's fundamental. Just imagine going through one day without discernment. You see, I believe we use discernment to identify right from wrong, to examine what is good and what is bad, to determine what is truth and what is a lie, ultimately concluding between what is better or best for our lives. I've heard it said that the best definition of discernment is to follow your heart, but just make sure your heart is pure. This leads to a very interesting point. I believe that discernment is inextricably connected to our faith, a belief system that encourages the purification of our hearts. When I seek to have a pure heart, meaning when I ask for forgiveness for my sins and commit to walking in righteousness, my hearing is affected in a positive way. I hear my wife's voice, my children's voices, my friends, my colleagues' voices with greater clarity. I can even hear God nudging my heart, whispering to my heart. I can feel his presence encouraging me to do a particular thing or go a particular direction. One of my absolute favorite biblical stories is King Solomon's dream in 1 Kings chapter 3 in the Old Testament. As the story goes, Solomon is replacing his father David as king and is not quite feeling up to the task. In the dream, God says, Solomon, ask me what you wish. Ask me whatever you want. Solomon says, would you give your servant an understanding heart? so that I can judge your people to discern between what is good and evil. God granted the request. King Solomon wisely judges and goes down in history as the wisest man in the Bible. Father Mike Schmitz is a very popular Catholic priest who uses social media platforms to discuss relevant topics in today's world. He has a talk on the internet titled Discernment 101. I highly recommend it. He states that there's one very important variable about discernment. It requires action. Listen to what he said. Quote, we like to think and talk about discernment. However, at some point we need to act. People are afraid to move because they think, what if I take the wrong step? End quote. The father argued this is where faith in God comes in. Listen again. The father said, here's the data that I know. I've processed this data but I'm nowhere. I need to get more data. I need to talk to other people. I need to get more information. This is called taking action, end quote. For 42 years, I watched my father do all these things. I had a front row seat to the life of the wisest man I've ever met in my life. I watched him take his time and think through decisions, every single decision. I can recall on various occasions, just asking my father a simple question, and it might take weeks, weeks to get an answer. For example, I remember this. Dad, I said on one occasion, I'm just asking if it's all right to go to the Journey concert in the city with friends in two weeks. Well, son, he said, I need to think about it. His process was slow and methodic and maddening to a teenage son. He'd reflect, he'd contemplate, He'd meditate. Then came the questions, and then more questions. And here comes the part I really hated. He would discuss all 
the possible scenarios. And then he'd think more. And finally, he'd give me an answer. I didn't always like his answers, but I'll be doggone if he didn't make the right decision every time. Every time. My dad has been gone now for nearly three decades. I'd give anything to talk to him about his process of discernment. I'd love to ask, Dad, how did you cultivate discernment? How did you develop it? Did the process ever frustrate you? Did you ever make the wrong decision? I can pretty much guess his responses. Well, son, it took time for me to develop discernment. For you see, son, anything worth doing right takes time. And yes, son, sometimes I made the wrong decisions, but the goal was never perfection. The goal was always improvement, to minimize my wrong decisions. Stay at it, son. You'll get it. The common sense of my father, a very simple man with little formal education, was so profound. And he based his common sense on three critical elements, intelligence, wisdom, and discernment. His platform wasn't Facebook or TikTok, but rather the galley or the kitchen table. His impact? Well, let's just say he wasn't concerned with likes or being retweeted. His concern was singular. Who can I help this day? And who can I impact in a positive way? For my dad, common sense was the game changer. And his common sense continues to help, assist, advise, and impact to this very day. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Until we meet again, this is Dr. Rick, asking the most important question I can ask, how you living? Are you ready to make an impact in your world right now? Do you want to stop existing and start living your best life right now? Dr. Rick wants to give you the first chapter of his best-selling book, Lessons from a Third Grade Dropout, absolutely free. Just go to www.rickrigsby.com forward slash free gift to get the print or audio book right now. This is the podcastfactory.com.